Good morning, good morning, good morning. This is Coach Candy and it is Coffee Chats. I am doing something a little different today. Good morning, Shirley. Cheers, everyone. Grab your coffee, grab your water, grab your tea, grab your juice, whatever it is that gets you going in the morning. Um, just for all of you to know, uh, good morning, Deborah. Good morning, Martha. Um, I am actually streaming this both live on Facebook as well as live on Instagram. So we're going to see how this works. Uh, good morning, Robin. Good morning, Yvette. Good morning, ladies. It is Friday, everybody. Good morning, my Instagram family and friends. Um, Awesome. It is so amazing to have you here. So we're going to see if I can stream this on two things. You want to see my, my setup here uh, I have going on right now. I've got lights. I've got iPhone. I've got my computer. Um, I'm seeing myself in double image, which is interesting. <laughs> um, but we are definitely going to go live, and I'm going to try and do this so that I can actually tap in uh, to some peeps on Instagram as well. Um, I think some of the conversations that we've had have gotten super meaty, super awesome, and I want to make sure that there's more people that can uh, access that. Good morning, Elaine. Good morning, good morning, good morning. How's everybody's week going? Before we jump in, let's talk about how everybody's week is going. Um, yes, I love that. Good morning, everybody. There's a lot of energy this morning. How fantastic. So what has everybody been up to? How's your week going? How are some of the, the messages and the conversations starting to settle in? I've got two things I want to share with you today that I'm super excited about. One is actually some research that's you know, there's still more research to be done with it, but I want to give you cutting edge tools that I have found to be helpful for me and you can take them or leave them as always. So it is Friday feature. Um, just to recap for some people that are jumping on, um, just to let you know what we do every day, I do go live every morning at 7.30 Central Time. Uh, and those of you jo joining on Instagram right now, same thing. I am going to start going live uh, in parallel here on both so that we can have conversations with y'all as much as I'm having conversations conversation with my Facebook community. Um, we have a variety of topics we hit uh, every every week, right? Monday is all about mindset. Tuesday is that training space. Wednesday is the wonder, so we dance in the possibilities and really find ways to activate our imagination. And then Thursday is all about our thankful space or that thoughtfulness space. And Friday is a feature space where I am bringing books, techniques, podcasts, um, things that either my gurus share with me, things that I have just stumbled upon, or things that um, have significantly just helped me up my game. So welcome. It is such a pleasure and honor to have you all here on a Friday morning. And as you know, this is Finish Strong Friday. Uh, this is not the time to take your foot off the accelerator. This is the time when everybody else is kind of copping out and saying, eh, it's Friday, game over, week's done. I want you to hit it strong. I want you to put that last bit of oomph into the week. I want you to think about how to put that last bit of energy, focus, drive, because um, it's honestly, and I have a friend of mine that says champions are made on Friday. It is true that high performers, uh, people that are really successful, the way they use their Friday changes everything, right? So we've talked a lot about your bookends. We've talked about managing your calendar. And I want you to think about your Friday as well. Good morning, Paul. Ah, yes, Martha. So what do you think? You're reading The Big Leap. Uh, that's going to play well into our conversation this morning because we're going to talk about limiting beliefs. We're going to talk about some techniques to bust uh, some of those beliefs, bust some of that uh, noise that creeps in and allow you a space to really activate more of your potential. And so I'd love to hear what you think. Good morning. Um, because I want you to ask yourself, and I know I asked this the other day, how many of you believe that we are tapping into our full potential, either collectively um, as a culture and, and you know, on a global scale, or as an individual, do you feel you are effectively tapping into your potential? And so I'm curious, I'm gonna give you a minute to weigh in. Do you think you're living in your full potential? Do you think you have it, you know, you're dialed in, you're tapped in, and you are playing full out right now? Or do you think there's an opportunity to tap into more um, potential from where you're at right now? Yvette, yes, I need help with limiting beliefs. Awesome. Don't we all? We all have limiting beliefs. Um, and like I said, things I share with you, I'm sharing because there are things that I am dealing with 
on a daily basis. They are things that are constantly opportunities and invitations for me to be mindful and present. And so I bring that because I know the frustration. I know some of the challenge in that. And I know how powerful it can be when you shift out of that frame. So yes, um, thank you with that help with making them go away. I mean, absolutely, I got that. No, I didn't think you needed help in attracting limiting beliefs. Most people aren't looking to find more limiting beliefs. Most people are actually looking at um, how to get rid of those limiting beliefs or change their story. Um, no, you're not um, living to your full potential. Always potential, yeah, and so I love that. And um, it was an interesting model that Tony Robbins shared, and I think I talked about this before, how it, it starts with your potential, then it goes to what action you take as a result of the potential you're tapping into, then it indicates what results you get as as a as a outcome, and then it, it really ties into your certainty of your belief, right? And so it's this ongoing circle, and anywhere you start in that circle, they all are kind of a continuous loop that affect each other. And what happens oftentimes is because the certainty and belief feed whether or not you're stepping into your potential, people sit there and say, Well, I don't believe I can do that, I don't have the confidence, I don't have the belief, therefore they don't tap into that unlimited pool of potential they have, which means their actions are far less than what they could be. They're not taking massive action, which means they're not getting the results they want. And so oftentimes people think, okay, well, practice, repetition, discipline, create that opportunity to have more confidence, right? So you gotta do the thing over and over again to believe that you can do it, right? The thing is, is you don't have to actually do that. Yes, Elaine, there is so much more potential for sure. And Paul, I'm feeling really run down today, but I have a network meeting and a face-to-face -face and off to my shared office space, not slowing down. First of all, thank you for being um, wide open about that, Paul. And I'm hoping that maybe the tool that I share with you um, is gonna help shift that a little bit. Hopefully it brings a little bit more energy. It brings a little bit more presence for you to realize, okay, I get an opportunity to choose. And so I love that you're choosing to show up. I love that because energy is something that we tap into, we create. It's like happiness, right? We decide to be happy. We decide to tap into our energy and momentum is going to lift you up, keep you motivated and keep that energy going. So when you think about the fact that sometimes we need that repetition, we need that, that ongoing space where we're practicing over and over again in order for our belief to say, okay, I see I can do that. Because we have this, this thought that says, I'll believe it when I see it. And one of the things I want you to consider, and this is what Deepak and Wayne Dyer and other teachers teach is you will see it when you believe it. And so this is, I'm going to help you work on some active visualization this morning to help you tap into that core belief so that as we talked about, you can do some of that mental rehearsal. You can expand the confidence and the belief, and it's about practicing it in your mind. It's about being able to visualize. So are you guys ready? And if you're driving, do not do this with me. And I'm going to have a little trouble doing this just because of how my office is set up so that I don't smack my hand against the wall. And I'll show you what I mean in a minute. It, but this is something that all of you can do with me real time right now because I and if you don't do it right now I want you to do it as soon as possible off after this call because I want you to see how we are subconsciously limiting ourselves on belief when we don't even realize how much we're creating that ceiling or that upper limit that says I can only do this much and when we start to create that mental rehearsal we start to create that active visualization how much further we can stretch in our own potential and this is is a activity that when I when it was shared with me years ago um, it blew my mind right because you're like holy crap that's now some of you are probably gonna go further than some of you on the first try but I'll show you what I mean in just a minute before that let me see what we got here uh, you bet my day job consumes my energy and then I feel like I have nothing left for my business and other activities okay some of that's gonna be some self-care space we need to talk about Martha ready I love that I love the energy uh, and so again I want you to think about how you're tapping into your reserves oftentimes too if you're depleted and we're gonna talk about that how to create keep your energy going throughout the day when you are feeling those crashes or you're feeling that depletion so that you're not just sucking down our good old coffee. Although I do like my rocket 
fuel, whatever you want to call it, keto fuel, fat fuel, burning, coffee, whatever the heck it's called. Um, I do have to say it really does set my day off on a good tone. Um, so instead of pumping caffeine in you to get that energy lift, which ultimately ultimately gives you that crash. I want to share with you some techniques. We're going to do some qigong. We're going to do some breathing stuff as we continue to have these conversations because I want to give you tools to activate um, and keep you energized throughout the day. Good morning, Mateo. Namaste. Um, Elaine, I was at Austin Community College yesterday at their computer center at the desk that I sat down. There was a card that said, you are capable of more than you know. What a sign. Oh my God, I love that. I love when the universe drops us little love notes like that. And what a sign, right? Because you are capable of so much more. So let me get a sip of my bulletproof coffee here, and uh, we're gonna walk into a bit active visualization exercise to show you how much you're cutting off your potential right now, and how much opportunity there is for you. Elaine, I love that card. What a great way to set the stage. All right, so here we go. So I'm going to do this sitting down only because I didn't reset my desk for me to be standing and being that I've got multiple things going on right now, I'm trying to stream on two different social media platforms. Let's not mess with things. That being said, ideally you want to do this standing. And so what I want you to do is you can either sit and be, make sure you're sitting upright. So those of you that are driving, just listen. Do not do this. I do not want you causing any accidents or um, falling asleep at the wheel or any of those other things. For those of you that are able to, I am going to encourage you to do this activity with me right now. And so what I want you to do is I either want you to stand up straight or if you can't stand right now because like me, you're limited and I might have to do a little bit of maneuvering here so that I don't completely kill myself in this exercise So I've got a little container I'm working in. Um, what I want you to do is I want you to put your feet flat on the floor. I want you to look straight ahead and I want you to stand up. I want you to again activate your core. Either stand or sit with your core activated, your shoulders back. And I want you to really just for a moment, um, feet straight ahead. If you're standing, I want your feet about hip width apart because I want to make sure you have that balance. Make sure your knees are soft. Um, always when you're doing anything like this, make sure your knees are soft. I don't want you like toppling over or crashing. I don't want to be liable for anybody uh, falling down and killing themselves or hurting themselves. So what I want you to do is, I want you to, first of all, let's just activate our core a little bit, because um, some of you, it's the morning, and you're still kind of getting in your rhythm. So what I want you to do is, I want you to just hands by your side. I want you to just kind of loosen up your body, open your chest, activate your core. And what I want you to do is, I want you to take in three deep belly breaths. So when I say deep belly breaths, first of all, your stomach should be moving when you breathe. But what I want you to do is I want you to really activate your core. And again, your core is up by like your clavicle all the way through your hamstrings. So it's everything but your little arms and legs and head hanging out. Your core is everything else essentially. So what I want you to do is I want you to breathe in really deep. And I want you to breathe in really slowly and deliberately. Don't just suck in air, right? That's not what I'm intending for you to do. I want you to keep your body still. This is all from your core. And what I want you to do is I want you to breathe in very slow and deliberately. And when you breathe in and you start to activate that space, I want you to imagine, we're already going to start to tap into our imagination. I want you to imagine as if you can feel the oxygen fill every cell in your body. I want you to think about from the very top of your head down to your tippy toes. I want you to breathe in really clean, really open, in really abundant energy and I want you to imagine and really feel into how that oxygen is filling every cell of your body and so I want you to breathe in deeply and I want you to hold for a minute that empty space that space in between the two breaths is so important right that that just hold then when you release it I want you to think about breathing through a straw so that you slow it down and you get very deliberate so you're like shh it's like letting the air out of a tire, right, or a balloon. I want it to just like shh out. And as you release it out, I want you to imagine that every limiting belief, every toxin, every negative um, story, every all the energy that's icky, I want you to just push that out of your body, right? Anything that you might have woke up with, anything, by the way, you can do this every morning when you wake up. It's a great way to activate your space. But what I want you to do is I want you to take three breaths. So we're going to do that. We're just going to breathe in. Close your eyes if you need to and really imagine every cell of your body being activated. Every cell of your body getting that beautiful, light, abundant, clean oxygen and energy into your body. And then I want you to hold that 
And then I want you to breathe out as if you're breathing that air through a straw. And I want you to let, I want you to let every bit of negativity, all the stories, all the limiting beliefs, all the toxins to just exit your body. I want you to attach it to that breath and just let it seep, let it blow out of your body. And so I want you to do that three times. And so that's the first one. So again, I want you to breathe in really deep. I want you to fill your body with that clean, abundant, really open and light energy. I want you to feel every cell of your body activate. Good morning, Myra. I want you to really start to feel into your body. How are you feeling? Is there any pain? Just really get into your body and really acknowledge who you are. I want you to do that with that breath. Again, I want you to hold, and then I want you to breathe that out slowly through the straw, attaching any kind of ickiness or crap or BS. Let that just and go out of your body with that breath. And then I want you to do that one more time. I want you to breathe in really deeply, really activate your core this time. You might even start feeling some tingling or you're like getting warm. It's because your body is starting to say, hello, I am here, let's play. Your mind is starting to get activated. Your focus, your clarity, and this is gonna help us for this exercise. So again, breathe it in, feel it in all of your body, every cell, activate, get that energy moving, feel the blood pumping. And then what I want you to do is again, hold maybe for a little longer, just sit in that space of the hold and then release anything that might still be stuck, anything that needs that little bit of oof out of your body, just get rid of all of it. And so with that, I'm gonna have everybody take just a second and get yourself really grounded and centered into your body and allow yourself to just kind of drop in. And again, I want you to make sure your shoulders are back, your core is now activated. I want you to have your feet on the floor, planted, planted firmly, soft knees if you're standing, otherwise just really make sure you're coming from your core if you're sitting. And what I want you to do is I want you to raise your right finger. So if you think about your hand, I want you to put out your, and I'll show you my, Instagram people, just your pointer finger on your right hand. I want you to just raise it up about shoulder level and I want you to raise it out straight in front of you. And again, this is just shoulder level. Your chest is still open. You're just here. I just want you to point out. Then what I want you to do, and again, I'm going to have a little trouble just because of my space. I want you right now to twist. I don't want you to move your feet. Your core stays still. Your hips, your feet should stay forward. What I want you to do then is I want you to reach around and I can go pretty far because I've done this exercise. I want you to reach around and point, turn your head with you. I want you to just take that finger, keep your lower body planted. I want you, this isn't about turning your whole body, this is about moving your core, turning around, and letting yourself, and you might even still try to keep your head straight, and just turn around as far as you can. So you wanna like legitimately take your finger and just point it as far back as you can, and I'm just making sure I don't hit the wall, and go as far back as you possibly can. So I want you to think about that. I want you to just get in that space, and I want you to just turn and move your finger and point against the wall. Note where you stopped. Was it this far? Was it this far? Was it behind you further? And again, like I said, I've done this exercise so I can stretch a little bit further. And so I want you to, again, keep your feet straight. Okay, did everybody do that? Awesome. Yay. Okay, so here's what I want you to do next. Now, I want you to close your eyes for a minute. And I want you to visualize in your mind. I want you to see what you just did. I want you to close your eyes. Keep your eyes closed. And I want you to visualize going twice as far as you went the first time. I want you to think about really feeling the stretch of your arm going behind you. And I want you to think about, visualize you being able to turn and going further than you went the first time, okay? So just visualize that for a moment. And now what I want you to do is I want you to open your eyes. And again, I want you to point your finger forward. I want you to again, keep your feet straight shoulders width apart or sit in your chair, fully activated in your core. And I want you to, again, head, keep your head forward and just stretch back as far as you can go. And I got a bookshelf and other things there. I know how far I can go. Um, and I want you to just allow yourself to turn as far as possible doing the same maneuver. What did you experience? Before we go any further, I wanna see, open your eyes and I want you to see, what did you just do? How far did you go 
second time compared to the first time. So I want to see you guys weigh in. Tell me what you experienced. Was there a difference? Was there a notable difference for you? I'll give you a minute. Some of you might be still doing the activity. Um, just give you just a minute. Again, once you've visualized it, I want you to go in. I want you to stretch and turn all the way as far back as you can, keeping your, your, your gaze forward. See how far you can turn back. What would what is it you experienced? Go ahead. I want to hear. I want to hear you share um, how that was for you. I got lots of you on this morning, so tell me how. Since I got two different things going on here, second time I went a third of the way further. Yes. How many of you went further the second time than you did the first time? Yes, six to eight inches further. Woo! I love that. Okay, so what I want you to do is I want you to close your eyes again. And now what I want you to do is I want you to imagine going even farther or further than what you did the first time, than what you did the second time. I want you to now think about going twice as further as you did the second time to where you're really being able to turn almost your whole body around. I want you to visualize that, and then what I want you to do is I want you to point, and I want you to do the exercise again, and I want you to stretch all the way around. And if I didn't have this bookshelf here, I literally would be pointing at my window on the other side over here. Um, I can't do it with the bookshelf in here without breaking my arm. Um, so I want, to, I want you to do that again. Went a fourth further, further, 12 inches. Wow. So then I want you to visualize it one more time. I want you to do this three times in a row. I want you to visualize. And this time, I want you to visualize that you have been able to turn completely around. Your head is still forward. That your arm is actually all the way around 180 degrees or 360 degrees. I don't know my math this morning. 360 degrees that your arm is all the way turned around and you've got it coming out of the other side. I want you to just visualize that. I want you to visualize that you have, with keeping your body forward, able to turn your hand all the way around so that this arm is all the way on the left side. I want you to visualize that, and then I want you to really stretch. I want you to open your eyes, and I want you to do that one more time and see what happens. And then I want to hear. I want to hear how doing that three times still further yet. I want you to think, how far did you go? Like, how far did you stretch from the third time to the first time, what was the difference for you? Do you see a significant difference? I love this activity. I think it's mind blowing and it just speaks so much about the potential that's available to us. And so curious, as some of you are finishing the exercise, I might have some more coffee. Was there, and how big a difference was there between your first time going around and after the third time you visualized? What showed up, what was different? And for those of you on Instagram, feel free. want to hear from you as well. Um, let's, let's see what's going on here. Oh, oh there we go. Ah, there we go. <laughs> um, oh, my gosh. So what did you guys experience? Yes, significant difference. How about the rest of you? Thank you, Martha. I appreciate that. And I know you've done this exercise with me in person. Um, so you get it. And you probably really stretched far because uh, it was really, it's really significant when you do it the first time. So how about the rest of you? Easier to go further. Easier, I love that. So think about that for a minute. It's easier to go further. Why do you think it's easier to go further? What makes it easier to go further the, for the third time after the third visualization than the first time? It's your beliefs. Because the first time you're like, well, I can only go this far. And you might've been like, I'm not flexible. Um, went even farther, became a, becoming a contortionist. I love that. And what's interesting is we have far more flexibility than we believe we do. We have far more potential than we believe we do. And what we do is we limit because we're like, oh, I'm old. Oh, I'm tired. Oh, I haven't stretched in a while. You know what? My shoulder's only going to let me go here. Whatever the story is that you told yourself on the first time or, holy crap, Candy is crazy and what is she making us do on a Friday morning? Whatever the story was that was cycling, you limited yourself the first time based on what you believed and what you thought of. Think about that. You based your results on the level of belief you had and what amount of potential you were willing to tap into. And then you created sort of a halfway action that got you mediocre results. 
when you started to actively visualize, when you started to create that motor rehearsal, your beliefs started to get a little stronger. You're like, I see it. I totally see me doing this. Of course I can do this. I'm more flexible than I think. Of course I can. If she's asking me, and some of you are like, well, if she's asking the question, I must be able to do it. So you started to believe it was possible which means you dug into that reservoir of magic or your potential a little bit more. And so you then took another level of action that then created a higher level result. And when you did that again, you went deeper and you built the confidence even more and the belief became more certain that you tapped into even more potential and then took massive action and some of you were like, now I'm becoming a contortionist. So think about the power of that. Um, I tried harder and got a lot further. Yes, and here's the thing, it's not even about trying harder, it's about putting more effort in. And so what I want you to let go of a little bit is this idea that it's gotta be harder. Hard, I gotta work harder, I gotta work harder. No, I want you to work smarter and I want you to put the right level of effort in at the right time so that you're generating the results you want. So it wasn't as much about working harder as it was about you visualizing and getting on board with what effort was required and then taking the massive action to shift the results to allow that to be possible. And so I love that. Um, Candy is in my head again. Oh, I love that. I love being in your head. I'm telling you, one of my favorite things that I hear constantly is the damn you, Candy Barone. <laughs> honestly, I honestly, I have a metric. How many times a week, either by the way people look at me or indirectly what they say or directly saying, damn you, Candy Barone. It's, it's a metric. I like to actually hit at least 10 a week, and uh, I've been doing pretty good lately. So um, awesome. I love that I'm in your head. A little creepy, but awesome. I love that you're in your head. Um, so seriously, think about that. Think about how powerful that exercise is, and um, I want you to practice that. Here's the thing, and I'm actually only going to share this one tool today because I don't want to get into the other piece. We're going to say And, and I want you to play in this space of active visualization. So now think about it. Think about for a moment, if you were able to create this kind of active visualization just to stretch your arm further behind your back so that now you're kind of able to be a contortionist and you're really flexible and you're finding that, holy crap, my body isn't as limited as I thought it was. Imagine being able to use that same exercise for everything in your life. If you can really get into a space, and this is what we were talking about earlier this week, athletes do it, elite athletes do this, NASA uses this, anybody that is a high-performing, successful um, individual who's crushing it on a regular basis, think about if you haven't heard the story from Jim Carrey about how he visualized, he would go and actually see the homes that he wanted when he was still, you know, living out of his car and some other things, and how that active visualization, and the thing is I want you to realize is it's active visualization. It's not just, oh, I thought about it. It's nice. I want that. That's where I think people get mixed up in things like the secret and other things. They think all I have to do is think about it once. They think all I have to do is put the wish out there and then it's done. No, 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 no. Active visualization says where I feel inspired, that I am really leaning in and allowing my body to connect with it. My body, my mind, my spirit, my soul to physically, emotionally, um, mentally and um, spiritually connect to what this actually means and what the outcome is going to bring into my life. And when you create that active visualization, you let go of how, when, and why. So you stop worrying about how is this going to happen, when is this going to happen, and why is this happening or not. What you do is you get so in the space of the performance. So you're thinking about how you're delivering that performance. What's the best possible outcome? And when you're actively visualizing, you are engaging every aspect of your body. You are literally living that experience as if it's happening right now. It's not a, oh, I'm just creating a picture. That's nice. No, you are actively engaging your body and your senses in a space that says, ooh, I can feel the car right now. I can feel the fact that I can smell the leather in the car that I want. I can actually think about um, the, the wind as the windows are open. I know what song's playing in the radio. I can feel the way the seat feels behind me, that really soft, rich, buttery leather. I can smell the newness of the car. I can hear the engine purr ever so quietly. It's when you get in that active space where you are as if it is now, 
really rehearsing, mentally rehearsing that space, that's where that ability to tap into greater potential really happens because the practice doesn't happen need to happen in reality, the practice can happen in your imagination. And it's just as powerful. Again, um, damn you, Candy Prune. <laughs> I love that. I love you, Yvette. That's funny. New hashtag, DYCV. I love it. Oh my God, you guys cracked me up. That is funny. I might have to add it into the thing today. And only those of you that join me will know what that means. D-Y-C-V. That's hilarious. Damn you, Candy Brown. I love it. That just made my day. Yay. And by the way, that was two right there. Yay. <laughs> Um, so I want you to think about it. When you create that mental rehearsal, when you create that space, it doesn't matter if it's in actuality or if it's in your imagination, it's just as powerful. And research has shown over and over again that your body, your brain waves, your function, everything is exactly the same when you are actively visualizing versus when you're actually in the game itself and creating that momentum and creating that energy. So how y'all doing? How was that for a Friday? Is everybody stoked right now to step into some bigger potential? Can you see how this is powerful to get rid of some of those limiting beliefs? Think about if you have limiting beliefs about just how far your arm can go back, which is a simple task, think about where you have limiting beliefs in every other area of your life. Think about that for a minute. I mean, it's crazy, right? We don't realize how many limiting beliefs are holding us back, how many we actually have. And I think about, you know, it's that same thing like Renee said, it's not about whether you have biases, it's what biases do you have. I'm like, it's not about whether or not you have limiting beliefs, it's which limiting beliefs you have and which ones are creating that debilitating space that are holding you back. Because very rarely is there a human being right now that's tapping into their full potential. And so we all have opportunity to lean in, to activate that space to bring more to us. And so um, I wanted to share that. I wanna share, we're gonna do some more around visualization, active visualization. And like I said, for those of you that have experienced, you know we do that with the life script, right? And it's such an incredible space that really activates um, that idea of, um, you know, what you really want and bringing it to life and it creates that audio. Um, also for some of you, the reason why you struggle with active visualization is because you're not clear about what you want. And again, I am going to encourage you and invite you to, there, this is the last day to sign up. We are kicking things off tomorrow morning. If you are in a space where you're like, man, I want, more. I need more. I don't even know what that means. I have been trying to figure out my passion, my purpose, my mission, my focus, my vision. Then I am going to really urge you to join us tomorrow. Whether or not you can be there live in person or you just need those tools and resources, I want you to realize I am bringing my best stuff. This is stuff I use with my one-on-one -on -one clients. I also, just FYI, am bringing some things I've never taught before. I am bringing new cutting edge techniques and strategies to those of you that choose to show up tomorrow. This is even before I'm bringing it to some of my one-on-one -on -one clients. You get first taste, you get first access because these tools are so incredible. I know what they can do to move you forward. And as somebody who really struggled for a long time, about what is my purpose? What is my focus? Where am I at? Oh, spinning like a freaking tornado. We got to get into a space where we can get clear and you need some simple tools and strategies. And it's going to be simple to help you unlock because some of it is the limiting beliefs that are holding you back right now. We need to get into that and do strategies like what we did today to clear that out. We're gonna do some stuff that's not even gonna give you opportunity to think. It's going to give you a, a space to respond because oftentimes that's where the limiting belief gets stuck. It's we are overthinking, we're overanalyzing, we're trying to make it bigger than what it is. And I wanna assure you that it doesn't have to be that difficult. It doesn't have to be that hard. And so again, I'm gonna drop in the link for those of you that want to always love that exercise. Awesome, love that, Elaine. I'm um, looking forward to tomorrow. Yes, Deborah, I'm so excited that you're going to be there. I know Elaine, you're going to be there as well. Um, and some others are going to be in there um, as well. So super excited to have you. Again, if you can't be live, sign up regardless because you will get all of the tools. You will get the full recording. You can stop it. You can listen to it. Those of you that join live, you're going to get the replay as well. I will be sending out some of the tools in the worksheets tonight um, so that you have them available to you. The only thing that you need if you are joining us is you need some paper or a journal, a pen, something to write with, and you need some post-its or some pieces of paper. 
as we're going to do some fun activities. I love post-its. And so um, we're going to do some stuff that's going to get you in a space to really dig in deep um, so that you can truly um, get clear on what you want and then start in introducing some of these tools like active visualization and ways that you're going to move the, the, the dial forward. You are worth investing in moving to your next level. And if you really want to accelerate your growth, because this is the thing, you can take all the time in the world to arrive there. At some point, as long as you keep doing the work, you will arrive there. I am the most impatient person in the world, and I want the quickest way to get to my next level as possible. And I have streamlined the things that will help expedite, help you amplify and help you accelerate how to get there faster so that you don't have to go through all of the pain and frustration and craziness that I did to realize, holy crap, it's standing right in front of me, and I never put two and two together, and it, wow. I have been looking for my purpose for so long, and holy shit, it's been there all the time. So I want to give you access to it real time. I will drop that in. Today is the last day to register. Um, there still are spots. I really, really urge you. And the reason I get so excited about this, I'm going to say that again, is because I know that this is a game changer. I really believe in you know the tools that are available to you and to be able to create a way for you to dig into those and know what that can do to change your life so powerful for those of you on instagram you will find the link in my bio in my bio as well as um uh on my page for those of you here with me um in the facebook community i will drop it into the thread i will drop it on the page again um but please if this is a space where you're struggling with um take action you are worth that you are worth the 67 dollars it, it is to sign up i mean seriously that's ridiculous for a four-hour workshop um again though those that pay really show up and pay attention and you'll do the work so that is an opportunity for you to invest in yourself um, whether you can invest the time tomorrow or invest the time at a later date, you might get the replay and decide you're going to do that on Sunday. So, uh, anyway, that is enough of that. I just want y'all to know, I love that you played in today's exercise. I can't be there live, but I want to sign up. Yes, that you bet sign up. You will, um, it will be worth your while to sign up. Um, I also, for those of you that sign up, you will get dropped into, um, we will have some conversation follow up, um, just to see how you're doing, how you're integrating those tools. So, um, it's not a one and done. I just want you to realize that, um, I don't do things that are one and done. You guys know I'm here every day with you. We can bring some of the conversation back on um, here as well. So I'm here to support you. I want you to know that today is Friday. Finish strong. Keep that foot on the accelerator. Champions are made in the last hours of the week. Um, give yourself that opportunity to close out the week strong and then do something for you this weekend. So thank you, everybody. It's been an awesome week. I hope you've had a good week. I hope you're taking away some juicy nuggets and um, really are excited to dig in deeper. Just know that I love all of you. I'm sending you huge heart to heart hugs thank you for joining me again for coffee chats with coach candy um can you believe this is episode 52 we've been doing this for 52 days and that's only because i had a couple days that i was out but that's crazy that's awesome and um it's all because of you guys so step up step up be passionate be purposeful be powerful and um go rock your world this this today, this weekend, and I will see all of you. If I don't see you tomorrow, which I hope I see many of you tomorrow, I will see you all. Um, you did five days in a row. Yes, I love that. Um, I will see you all on Monday, 7.30. So Instagram, I will be back. Facebook, I will be back. Thank you, thank you, thank you. This worked out really well. And uh, I will talk to you all soon. Bye, everyone. <laughs>